I feel like this guy right here is just like the perfect representation of my life. Like, he exists, he showed up to the party, but he's just an absolute mess. Just completely not at all together. Just like my whole life. So yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I am Andy, I am exhausted, but I am here. Um, I hope you guys have had a great day. I have already put in a nine hour work day. I was at work at 3 a.m., I came home, I crashed for a little bit, and now we're gonna film some makeup. Yay, makeup! Um, today I wanted to do a video I've been wanting to do for a while. It's been a little bit more challenging to get it done, so that's why I was like, we're gonna knock it out today, because I want it up there. But this is my first impressions of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundations. I did a haul with these a little bit ago, and I showed you guys I got them for a really good deal. Picked them up for $12.50 a piece, they're normally $25. So I got them for 50% off. Um, I bought four of them. I got two different colors, natural and cool beige. Hopefully you guys can see that on the camera, probably not. Um, but I, I talked about it in the haul, I feel like cool beige is going to be real, real light, and I feel like natural is going to be just a touch dark, so I decided I was going to use both today, hopefully be able to make my favorite color. I'm not a huge stick foundation person, I don't normally use them, so I'm interested to see how they will respond. I'm also going to do something a little bit different for this one. I did, I have got, I got this one a while ago, it's like a little sample size of one of their darker shades, and I, just like a teeny tiny little bit. But I wanted to use it as like a cream contour, which I also told you guys that I'm not a huge fan of, so it's just a day for getting out of my comfort zone. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into this. Um, just as a base, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer because I know that I like it. I know that it works well normally with most of the foundations that I really, really like. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a, a quick application for that. As you guys can see, I already went ahead and did my eyebrows. They're probably wonky. I did them in like two minutes before we started filming because I had to wash off my gross makeup from this morning because it was actually yesterday's makeup and I woke up, I was supposed to be at work at 3 a.m. and I woke up at 3 a.m. and I was like, oh my god, so I put on my clothes and I drove to work. So to start off with, I'm just going to show you guys the colors really quickly. I'm going to go in with the, uh, no, that's cool beige, that's the wrong I'm so tired, I'm so sorry you guys. I'm going to go in with the natural first because it's the darker one. I think it's going to be closer to my skin tone and I think that the cool beige is going to be like a nice kind of highlight color, accent color where I want to lighten areas. Um, I also have this nice little nugget right here. It's like a patch of alligator skin that has just appeared and won't go away and I don't know what happened or why it won't go away. Alright, so that is the natural color. Um, I think actually natural and cool beige were like next to each other on the spectrum, but I feel like there's a big difference between them. So. We'll see how it works. I don't know the best application for sticks. I've seen people do different things. I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight to the face with it. Um, I think that's, it's gonna work kinda like a concealer type thing, so I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. And I'm just gonna go on my cheeks first. Actually, like initially, I mean, it's got pretty good coverage. I don't know how it, like, I don't know until I blend it in how it's gonna feel, but it doesn't feel, it feels kinda lightweight, which is nice. You guys know I always do like my big areas, kind of make like a nice little pattern that I feel like I can spread out easily. This is kind of what I was worried about with it. I feel like I'm just gonna have to use like an excessive amount to get full coverage. You guys know that that's what I want is full coverage. I don't like, I don't like partial coverage. I don't want it to look natural. I want it to look like I have no sort of any discoloration and I want to perceive I want to deceive, not perceive, I want to deceive the world into thinking that I'm flawless, even though I'm so flawed it hurts. So that's one coat. Oof. I'm going to go in with the lighter shade now and see what that does. Uh, yeah, see that just is a little light for me, I think. Maybe I just need to put on a little bit more. Maybe I tried to go like sparingly with it. I just need to like really cake it on there to like achieve what I'm looking for. Just really, the this one actually seems to be spreading a little easier. I don't know why that might be, but it does, It just does seem to be rolling on a little bit more. I feel like the color shouldn't change the application, but maybe it does, I don't know. We're learning something new today. 
I feel like as I spread it in, maybe I'm using the wrong thing. Maybe the brush is the wrong tool for this. All right, so we're getting there. So right now we're at two applications, one of each color. I'm gonna go in with the darker color once more. This time I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. I feel like I just wanted, I, f I feel like I was anticipating it was gonna respond differently. And that's why I decided the brush was a better tool to use to blend it in. I think that was the wrong judgment. So I'm gonna try in that. And then if, if this works better, then I probably will go ahead and say that maybe it was just my application the first time and that I would not have to do probably what will be four or more coats if I had used the blender in the first place, but I don't know. Uh, that might've been it. Oh no, <gasps> there's a hole in, ow, it's stabbing me. Oh no, it may be time to retire this one. He's not doing well. Oh yikes guys, today's been a rough day for me. Okay, so I switched beauty blenders because my um, the one I've been using most frequently was really stabbing me. Nikki played with it and tried to find if there was like a sharp thing. He couldn't find anything, but like every time I beat it against my face, it was hurting. So I've just decided he is going to be retired. I have plenty of backups. So I'm not super worried about that. Um, but I did, this is one of the other ones I use. I don't like it quite as much because it's not angled, but I did use it to kind of just like beat in this contour stick, contour stick, foundation stick. And, um... It's looking better. I think it was my application at first. I think the brush was the wrong tool for it. I think the Beauty Blender is a better one. So I won't make the mistake of using a brush with it again. Um, but I am gonna go in. So this is the third application, This the second one of the um, natural color. I'm gonna go back in with one more cool beige and I think that's gonna be enough to kind of level me out. The sad thing is, is I know a lot of times I come, I hate being like negative in product reviews because I really do like a wide variety of products and I like most products that I use. But it's just hard when I like want so badly to try something and like it and I just don't. Like I've wanted to try this foundation forever and it's really, it's it's not the formula I don't think. I think it's just what I prefer in my foundations and it's not this texture. And because of that I go in like with high, high hopes and then I'm like it's not what I wanted it to be. And so I get mad and that's not the way to handle the situation. I don't know how it looks on camera. I don't know if it looks full coverage. I feel patchy. I feel like there's red areas sticking out. I don't know if Nikki can tell or not. I, he just gave a thumbs up again. I don't even know why I ask anymore. He's just smiling like a dummy. I feel like that's as good as it's getting. I'm gonna go in with um, concealer. I'm gonna use my tape, my shape tape because I know I can work really easily with that. I'm just gonna clean up under my eyes and around my nose area because those are where my big problems are normally. I wish I had my angled sponge, but it's, it's stabbing my face. I feel like it's pulling off foundation around it and making it redder. I don't like that. Maybe it's just me today. Maybe I'm just on the struggle bus. That's possible too. Mm. All right, that's as good as I think it's gonna get. Um, I'm so hesitant to like, I think I'm gonna set it first. I want it to get at least a little bit drier under my eyes. I feel like I still look patchy in areas, but once again, I think with stick application, it's a little bit harder to get all the colors spread out. So maybe that's part of it as well. Who knows? Who knows at this point? We're just guessing. We're just out here guessing. I feel like that's how I live my life. I just go out there and I guess. Hope for the best. All right, here he is. Let's just wing it. Oh, we got me contoured today. I went a little low on this side, so I feel like maybe I just adjust by going low on this side too. I feel like I'm repenting for my sins. 50 lashes for you and you'll have contoured cheeks. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like it looks murky, but it, maybe it's just the lighting. I feel like a lot of times I hate my makeup and then when I step out of the lighting, I'm like, it actually looks better than I thought it did because the lighting is just so harsh and it's hard to tell. Okay, so I finished my contour and I added blush off camera. I always do this where I like, I'm really, really critical of the makeup as I'm applying it because I, I really think it has to do with the harsh, harsh lighting. And then I go check it in my bathroom and it actually doesn't look bad. So when I checked it in the bathroom, the, the foundation actually with the shedding powder and the even the contour blended in, it actually seems very natural. I was kind of shocked. I'm interested to see how it's gonna look fully with the eyes and everything finished. 
So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll come back and show you guys my finished product and kind of let you know how I feel about it. I think I'm gonna try and fix my hair for you too just so I don't look like this the whole time because I look like a mess and I'm sorry for that. I try really hard guys, but it's uh, it's rough sometimes. So I'll be right back and we'll see the finished product. 